say first, the challengers. First, standing to my left tonight, he wears blue and black. He hails from parts unknown. He weighs in at 100, 270 pounds, and stands at a massive six foot and five inches. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Wrestling Championship belt. The fans humming the theme song of the current champion, David Storm, as the former champ, Bobby Marshall, holds the belt up high. Bobby Marshall uh, grabbing that title belt off the referee. Maybe getting a little bit ahead of himself there. You notice no referees in the ring because anything goes inside that steel cage. There's no disqualification. There is no count out. There is no pinfalls and no submissions. It is just quite simply, the first man to escape the cage will be the winner. Well, in a lot of times you see cage matches, you can get a pinfall or a submission, but not in this one, Luki. You can only escape to win. The person first to escape will be the EPW champion. The real X factor of this match is Davis Storm's arm. It is not 100%. Bobby Marshall calls for the door to open. Richter sees it coming and yanks him back in. As I mentioned, Davis Storm is the current champ, but when he's not 100%, it is going to be a struggle for him to take this match out and retain that EPW title. Well, I caught up with Davis Storm a couple of weeks ago on EPWPerth.com. He was very focused in his matchup as much as his arm is not 100%, but I don't think you'll hear him use that as an excuse, Lukey. Davis Storm doesn't whinge, he doesn't complain, and he doesn't know the meaning of the word pain. He is going to give it all he's got to walk out of here, the champ. Davis Storm with the side headlock applied there as Bobby Marshall gets his bearings together on the outside there. Storm dropped down hard by Richter. Richter sees Bobby trying to escape and takes those legs out. Big man lands rather agile there. Oh, that big boot doesn't connect to Richter. Storm goes up. Lands like a cat. Look at him go. Davis Storm. Egg scissors executed perfectly. Perfectly off the cage, might I add, Luki. And well, let's be honest, it has all come down to this. The biggest show of the year, Reawakening 7. Their 15-foot high steel cage. Three of the best competitors that EPW has all going at it. All in the name of the Explosive Pro Wrestling Championship. Good God, Luki, we're in for an absolute treat here. It is a sold-out crowd here in Maylands, Western Australia. Standing room only as Richter battles back. Bobby Marshall and tries to throw him into the cage. Bobby Marshall puts the brakes on and drops Richter with a jawbreaker right across that top rope. And once again, Bobby Marshall eyes off that door. Nope, he's climbing up this time. Big back elbow. This is a dangerous matchup. So much can go wrong. As Davis Storm delivers a dropkick to the back of Bobby Marshall's head. 
Davis Storm, the reigning and defending EPW champion, taking down Bobby Marshall. So he's going to the top rope, but could he be trying to escape the cage, Luke? I guess only time will tell. I never try and guess what any of these men are thinking, especially in this sort of matchup when so much is on the line. I think all logic goes out the window, and they'll just do whatever it takes to try and walk out of here the EPW champion. That's right, and well, credit where credit is due. Each and every competitor in this matchup is an accomplished wrestler. Each one of them has held the EPW title some point in their career. Of course, Bobby Marshall being the person that Davis Storm defeated at the last show. Low blow there, perfectly legal. Bobby Marshall has had such an impressive 2008, winning that title, of course, from Shane Hayes back in uh, January. This has been the year of Bobby Marshall, and what better way to cap off the year of Bobby Marshall than by getting that gold back around his waist. You know that title means more to Bobby Marshall than anything in his life. It must have killed him when David Storm beat him for it, or as he meets that cage with a fierce amount of force. Richter held nothing back there. David Stormo greets him with a European uppercut for his trouble. Richter not impressed. Oh, hits a big elbow to the jaw of Storm. So much on the line here tonight. It is a sold out crowd and they are absolutely electric. Very divided between the three wrestlers. There's support for all of them in the crowd. Right now, Richter. Oh, hip tosses Bobby Marshall into the steel cage. Should be pointed out, Richter is a former EPW champion, but he did not hold the belt for that long, and it was a long time ago. you got to know that he's thirsty for the gold like never before, Lukey. Richter defeated Michael Nichols for that belt, but he has come a long way. He has been the thorn in Bobby Marshall's side through 2008, as well as everything was going for Bobby Marshall. Richter was always there just to bring him down a notch. And of course, Richter earned his spot in this match by defeating 20 individuals in the Queen's Park Rumble and walking out of there the winner to become the number one contender for that belt. David Storm looks like he's going for the eye of the storm, trying to take out the man mountain Richter. Richter having no part of it. Richter at the moment is taking on two men, Luki. Extremely impressive from the big man, but then again, he always is. Storm off the ropes with a big elbow. Bobby Marshall now backdrop to Richter. It's just three men beating the hell out of each other. What they're trying to do is keep their opponents down for long enough that they can think about exiting the cage because if your opponents are down and out, they will stop you every chance they get because they know as soon as your feet touch the floor, you're the EPW champ and there's nothing they can do about it. Bobby Marshall now, Irish whip, Richter into the ropes. Storm cuts him off with a European uppercut. Bobby Marshall not happy. He gives Richter a clothesline for his troubles. It's a bit of one-upmanship between David Storm and Bobby Marshall. The level of competitiveness in this ring right now is outstanding, Lukey. If anyone can take that punishment, though, it's Richter. Look at that. He just keeps coming back. It doesn't matter what you throw at him. He is a powerful, powerful individual. Bobby Marshall looks to be going for a powerbomb against Richter. Richter not letting that happen. Oh, he's going to slam Davis Storm. Bobby Marshall breaks it up. As Richter tries for that chokeslam against Storm. With a boot to the arm of Richter, breaks it up. Bobby Marshall lifts him up. Spe Looks like it's oh, a big power slam. Spectacular display of strength from the former champion, Bobby Marshall, as he looks up at Davis Storm as to say, top that. Storm now talking a bit of, a bit of trash to Bobby Marshall. He's not impressed, Luki. It's almost as if Davis Storm... We're saying to Bobby Marshall, give me some room. I'll take Richter out, and then it'll come down to you and me. But Bobby Marshall's not a man you can trust with any sort of agreement like that, because as soon as you turn your back, look at that. He edges towards the door while David Storm's busy with Richter. Bobby Marshall is despicable. He is despicable, but you gotta, you got to hand it to him. That is the smartest tactic you could possibly have. You can trick your opponent to going after someone else and leave the cage with their back is turned and become champion. I mean, that would be a phenomenal way to upset both opponents. Storm gets whipped into the corner, reverse. Bobby Marshall heads up. Look at him trying to climb out of there. Kicks Richter aside. Storm is having none of that. 
Rick to throw Storm down and now grabbing Marshall. Marshall holding on for dear life. Oh, he falls down hard. They're tearing that cage apart. Got to tell you, that sheer weight and sheer force against it, they're going to tear it down. It's an easy way to get to the outside. It's just knocked the walls down around you, and you can jump to the floor. And I tell you, with all the weight and all the strength and determination heading towards it, I wouldn't be surprised if this cage fell down. David Storm, he's got two arms out of the cage and nearly has his head out, but Richard doing everything he can, putting all his strength into pulling the leg of Davis Storm, pulling the body of Davis Storm away from that steel cage door. Bobby Marshall trying to crawl, to, crawl towards it right now. You gotta get more than just your Oh, head. look at that, Luigi. That is very dangerous. We're seeing some steel chairs. Bobby Marshall trying to grab hold. And of course, there's no disqualification. So if he gets the, uh, the chair in the cage, it's perfectly legal. It's as legal as a wrist lock, Luki. Bobby Marshall slamming the steel cage door into the head of the current champion, Davis Storm. Check here, check here. Bobby Marshall once again trying to get out, but he's getting a handful of chair. Oh no. The chair is now inside the steel cage. Oh! Cracks into the head of the man Mountain Richter, who might be seeing stars right now. He looks very dazed. He didn't fall from his feet though. Credit to Richter. As hard as he was just hit, he's still standing. He's still there. Spinning side slam from Richter after taking a steel chair to the head. This man is tough, Luigi. Rick just stamps on the hand of Bobby Marshall to get that chair out of his grasp. Looks like he uh, might give Bobby Marshall a taste of his own medicine. Bobby, wow, with a dangerous low blow. And of course, there's no disqualification, so he can punch him in the groin till the cows come home. There is nothing these refs can do about it. It is the great equaliser, the low blow. Bobby Marshall now struggling with Richter to get that steel chair. Oh, once again, Richter cops it in the net. He is going to be singing soprano tomorrow, let me tell you. He's going to have swollen watermelons down his pants as Bobby Marshall lines up. Wax him right in the knee with that chair. And once again, he's taking out the big man's leg. Must say, what is normally a despisable tactic... Look at David Storm. I'm sorry to cut you off, but David Storm oh. is bleeding a lot from the face. I know he got thrown into that cage and it may have had some sort of grating effect on him, but that is a lot of blood dripping from the head of the Iron Man. Bobby Marshall with a chair shot to the back of David Storm. As I was going to say, he, he slammed that steel chair into the leg of Richter. Smart tactic, Lukey. You take out the legs of Richter. He can't climb that steel cage. Davis Storm was just edging towards that door. He is losing a lot of blood though. It's not only going to make him a little dizzy, a little faint from the loss of blood, but it's also getting into his eyes. It's going to make it hard for the Iron Man to see what's going on in that cage and to see his way out. The champion is a bloody mess on the canvas. Richter is having his leg absolutely devastated. Bobby Marshall with the steel chair is standing tall inside that steel cage. Lukey, Bobby Marshall is in a very good position right now. David Storm in the worst position. Richter swings and misses. Storm cops that chair to the midsection. This has become Bobby Marshall's match. He's just taken apart the current champion and the biggest challenger, Richter. Bobby Marshall obviously very proud of himself. Now putting a leg lock on Richter, putting more damage to that leg so he can't climb out of this steel cage. David Storm still dazed, confused, eyes just covered in blood. Bobby Marshall coming in with a smart game plan as much as I hate to say it, Lukey. He's just, he's just a man possessed. He came in with a plan and he is executing it well. He is just beating a hell out of Richter's leg. David Storm saw the climbing, but Bobby Marshall sees what Storm is up to and he is going to do everything he can to stop him right now. Look at him. Oh, 
punching Storm right in the back with a clubbing blow. David Storm is just a bloody beaten mess right now. Bobby Marshall's called for his valet to get that steel chair. Bobby Marshall getting a chair through the opening. He's used the, uh, the last one so much that it's worn out. He wants a fresh chair to try and beat his opponents with. Look at David Stormo. He won't stay down and he won't say die. David Storm, the Iron Man of Australian wrestling. He's bleeding buckets, but he's not done yet. Oh, my God. David Storm. Unreal. He just did a bulldog using Richter and the steel cage for leverage. Good God, Luke, I can't believe it. It's like David Storm's in the freaking Matrix the way he's running around that cage. He defies gravity. He's climbing that cage. Bobby Marshall has his leg. David Storm so close to getting out there. As he climbs back up, Storm comes back, cross body, caught by Bobby Marshall, who lifts him up and drives him like a dart, faced first into that steel cage. And that was how he made David Storm bleed in the first place. That now must open that wound even more. Richter now is limping in the ring. His leg must be causing him so much pain. Bobby Marshall there just is giving it another punch. And he's got that steel chair again. I, I fear to think of what he's going to do next to Richter's leg. So we see Bobby Marshall just stepping on that leg and now driving a chair dangerously low there. I think uh, Richter limping around the ring. It's not going to be the only limp thing on Richter after that stiff chair shot. Nonetheless, Bobby Marshall looking very proud of himself. David Storm back on his feet, holding on for dear life to the leg of Bobby Marshall. David Storm sees what Bobby is trying to do and he is using his last remaining energy to fight back and keep Bobby Marshall in this ring to stop him from exiting and taking David Storm's belt. Well, let's be honest, Lukey. David Storm fought so hard to get that EPW Championship away from Bobby Marshall. The man who just clobbered the leg of Richter with that steel chair yet again. Of course, David Storm, blood and all covering his face. He's going to stop at nothing to contain and retain being the EPW champion. We see Bobby Marshall now putting that chair on the leg of Richter. He's going to try and jump off and jam Richter's leg in that chair. And if he succeeds, I dare say it's all over for Richter. That's it. The dream has got to be looking very bleak for the big man, Richter. After everything that has happened in this matchup, Richter's leggy could very well be broken, Lukey. David Storm about to exit. Bobby Marshall sees him and drags him back in. Stomp to the chest of Storm. And now Bobby Marshall's going to climb out. Once again, Storm holding on for dear life. Bobby Marshall's got one foot out. If he gets one more leg, this match is over and he will get his EPW Championship back. Richter also holding on to the foot of Bobby. Dragging him back in. Bobby's fighting it, but there's nothing he can do. Both men now pulling him back into the ring. Bobby Marshall has no choice but to put his other leg back into the ring, otherwise he could tear a groin muscle at least. You don't want to pull a groin in front of this many people, that's for sure. Richter now. Oh, cops a boot to the face. Bobby Marshall has, has come in with a fantastic game plan. I don't like the man, but I've got to admire what he's done here tonight. He has slowly taken apart David Storm and Richter. First he took out the leg of Richter. Then he took out the face of David Storm, busting it open. Now taking off that turnbuckle pad to expose the steel. He's just continuing to demolish these two men one by one. Well, let's face it, Luki. Bobby Marshall's the freshest competitor in this matchup. David Storm. He's still got fight in him as he slams Bobby Marshall with that exposed turnbuckle. David Storm's all bloodied up. Richter's leg is an absolute mess. Bobby Marshall. He's managed to avoid a 
a decent beating in this matchup, but all things could change now, but no! Storm manages to put the brakes on, but still cops a bit of a beating from that cage. All three men looking a little worse for wear right now, as Bobby Marshall once again edges towards that door. Richter fighting off that leg injury to stop him. Richter can hardly walk, but he makes his way to that door to grab the leg of Bobby Marshall. There is no way he's going to let a man as despisable as Bobby Marshall walk out of here, the champion. What a matchup we're seeing here tonight. It is the main event of Reawakening 2008, the seventh annual Reawakening. It's no wonder this crowd is sold out here tonight in Maylands. These West Australian fans are seeing one hell of a show. You can now see Bobby Marshall applying a figure four leg lock to Richter. Who would have thought, Luke, in a steel, ma steel cage matchup like this with all the kind of who've seen it, that we see a traditional wrestling hole? Richter is in a very bad way right now because basically it doesn't matter what he does, there is no getting out of this move. The referee can't force him to break the hold. If he reaches the ropes, it doesn't matter. The move will continue. The only thing he can do is turn it over and reverse the flow of the move, hurting Bobby Marshall's legs. If he can get Bobby Marshall onto his front, then that's basically going to do uh, undo all the pain on Richter and put it all on Bobby Marshall. One thing he can't undo is the damage that has been done to his leg by Bobby Marshall. He's taken out the biggest competitor in this company but is constantly going back to the legs of the big man, Richter. He can't, there's no, no questions about it. There is no way he can climb the steel cage. I don't even think he could walk through the door now, Luki. He managed to reverse that figure four leg lock, but Bobby Marshall just went with it and reversed it even more so. Davis still slowly climbing up that cage. Bobby Marshall sees it. He's going to have to let go of that figure four leg lock or Davis Storm's going to climb out of the cage. The Iron Man of Australian Wrestling gets slammed down hard from the top rope of Bobby Marshall. Practically a power bomb there as Bobby Marshall drops Davis Storm down onto the mat. This match has been brutal thus far as Bobby once again continues to try and damage the legs of Richter. Stepping through with a sharpshooter now. Can he get him over? Richter fighting all the way to stop this move from getting locked in, but it is now. He's locked in the sharpshooter. Another move that is just going to destroy the legs and the lower back of Richter. You can see how much pain he's in. It is not often you see Richter in this much pain. Davis Storm edging his way out the door. Bobby stops him and drags him back in. Davis Storm now is half his body outside of the steel cage. He needs both feet to touch the floor to win it, though. Marshall now. What's he going for? Whatever it was. Storm! He is out! He is close! Davis Storm, you can hear him just screaming. He's giving it everything he's got. He's trying to force his way out. Both men dragging him back in. Bobby Marshall throwing some hard right hands to the head of Davis Storm, opening that head wound even more so. Grabs a steel chair again. Oh, God. Bobby Marshall has just been so violent, like a man possessed it. is doing everything he can to keep his opponents down. And if he keeps it up like this, Luki, I think we're going to see a new champion here at Reawakening 7. It will and truly be the big exclamation mark at the end of the year 2008. Usher. Once again, David Storm's head meets the hard, cold steel cage. Bobby Marshall now just assessing the damage, trying to calculate his next move to victory. Hey, 
Remember Storm's head hit the steel cage yet again. But Storm didn't fall. He's looking at his feet. You've got to be impressed by that. We all know David Storm will never give up. He'll never give in. It takes so much to stop a man the caliber of the Iron Man of Australian wrestling, David Storm. Your current EPW champion. He's going to do everything he can in this matchup. Blood and all to retain his championship. Storm with the big Yakuza kick. And this crowd has come unglued. Richter now off the ropes. Turns Bobby around. Smacks him right in the face. Richter off the ropes. Clothesline turns Bobby inside out. All three competitors right now laying in the ring. Each man has just had the hell beaten out of him. But I guarantee you, Lukey, there is not one of these men that will give up right now. They all know what's on the line. It's all about the EPW Championship, and they will stop at nothing to escape this steel cage and leave with that title. That EPW belt means so much to these two men, uh, these three men, I should say. But David Storm and Richter, these two men forming a pact against Bobby Marshall rather wisely after all the damage he's done to them. The least they can do is thank him for his trouble with a little bit of payback, and that's exactly what they're doing as Richter delivers a field goal kick right between the legs of Bobby Marshall. An assisted European uppercut there from Richter. Both men grab him now, and it looks like they're going to throw him right into that cage. That's exactly what they do. Bit of an unexpected display of teamwork there by the man Mountain Richter and the Iron Man, David Storm. Nothing brings two men together like a brutal cage ass whooping. The crowd here, the sold out crowd might I add here in the Venville Centre, voicing their disdain for Bobby Marshall. They want his head, they want to see him lose so badly. The question at this point is though, once David Storm and Richter have taken Bobby out, who is going to get out of the cage? Because I guarantee you, they're going to turn on each other. There are no friends. There can only be one winner. Alliances will only work for so long. They can only take you so far, and then you're on your own. When it comes down to it, Ricky, let's face it. Richter has had a very impressive 2008. David Storm was in the match of the year, had many a great matchups. Bobby Marshall. Bobby Marshall's got a new necklace, is what he's got. He's had a spectacular 2008, beating basically our who's who of explosive pro wrestling. Each man has had just a phenomenal year in explosive pro wrestling, but it all comes down to this. It all comes down to Reawakening 7, the biggest show of the year, all about the EPW Championship. Bobby Marshall just wore that steel chair. Richter's leg has been decimated. Davis Storm's a bloody mess. Who will win? Who knows, Luki, but I think we're gonna see it soon. Richter. Dropping Davis Storm face first, right on his knee. Starts to build up some steam, but Davis Storm cuts him off with a big boot to the midsection. And now Davis Storm charges at him, only to be greeted with a big knee to the midsection himself as Richter lifts him up for what looks to be a power bomb. But Davis Storm is holding on for dear life, and he is trying to go up and over. Richter pulls his leg out. Davis Storm luckily lands on his feet. Richter waiting to greet him with a choke slam attempt. Can he deliver? No, David Storm, DDT! Awesome counter by the Iron Man of Australian Wrestling, your current EPW champion. He's going for it. Iron the Storm! David... How many opponents will it work here tonight? At Reawakening 7, time's gonna tell as David Storm edges toward... ...and tries to climb out. David Storm with every bit of strength he has left in him is climbing the 15 foot high steel cage. Richter slowly coming up behind him. 
this is a very dangerous place to be. Storm pulled back down to that, which is still, even on that top rope, very high off the ground. Storm fought down and Richter now in a very neat position as Bobby Marshall charges and takes his legs out once again, landing on little Richter. That cannot be pleasant for him. Richter has taken more shots to the groin and the leg than I've ever seen in a wrestling matchup in my entire career, Luki. He's taken more shots to the groin than Ron Jeremy tonight. The guy has got to be in a lot of pain. The real losers of this match are the future generations of Richter swimming around inside there. They're going to be in a world of pain. Although with the swelling, I've got a lot more room to move. But still, Bobby Marshall has punished him so much. And now Bobby Marshall climbing towards that exposed buckle. It looks like he's going to try and climb up and over and take that title home. Bobby Marshall. This is the closest anyone has come. Bobby Marshall has one leg over the top. Richter, once again, climbing up, trying so hard to stop him. Oh, no. Richter. Oh, kicked down. Now Davis Storm climbing the opposing buckle. This could turn into a race, Luki. It's the battle of who has enough energy to keep it going. Bobby Marshall, tightrope walking across the cage and Storm oh. kick to the midsection Bobby eventually falls down hard from seeing what we've seen this matchup you wouldn't believe that David Storm is an injured man Luki he has that never say die attitude as he once again has almost half his body outside of the cage. These fans want to see so badly Davis Storm walk out of here, still the champ, but Richter doing everything in his power to keep Davis Storm in the cage. Enziguri, Richter lands on top of Bobby. Bobby's out. Uh, Richter. Bobby Marshall is entirely out of the cage except for one leg. Richter, such impressive strength, dragging Bobby Marshall back in. David Storm now trying with all his might to pull Bobby Marshall back inside the steel cage. And David Storm just succeeds, but Bobby Marshall kicks him off. And once again, so close to winning, but David Storm and Richter now. Bobby Marshall's got hold of the guardrail at ringside, as David Storm and Richter both have one leg each. What a matchup we're seeing here tonight. The main event of Reawakening 7. And there is no match that could follow this. There's a reason it's the main event. Three of the best in Australia, three of EPW Perth's own sons fight each other tooth and nail to take home that belt that means more to them than anything in this entire world. Well, it does not get any bigger than this. The main event of the biggest show on the EPW calendar, reawakening 15 feet of steel cage. Bobby Marshall. Is almost out. Richter chasing him. Can Richter get there in time? Richter just gets Bobby Marshall's foot. And now some flows to the back. Oh! Oh no. This will be the biggest choke slam ever, Luki. And now Davis Storm is in the best position of anybody. 
I am literally amazed at what I've seen in this matchup, Luki. A choke slam. Richter choke slammed Bobby Marshall from the top rope. Bobby Marshall's on top of the 15 foot high steel cage, all the way down to the ring I'm mat. I'm surprised the ring didn't collapse with all that weight coming down. I stay the storm now. Tries to go up and over. Richter trying to stop him. Is it too little, too late? David Storm has both feet, both feet on the other side of the steel cage. He's but a mere jump away from retaining his title. Richter has the hand around Hold the on. of the current Bobby champion. Marshall is edging towards the door. My God, who's going to get out of the cage first, Luki? Bobby Marshall's out the door. David Storm. Sweet Jesus, Luki. Storm is Storm. Storm is Stanet. What a show. What a reawakening. Thanks for joining us and let's hear it. Your EPW champion, the Iron Man, Davis Storm.